All right, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is probably the most nervous I've ever been making a video. I don't know what type of beehive I'm possibly about to hit making this, but you've already seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. Today, I am pitching Bochi the Rock versus k -On. Now, these are two series that are both in my top 10, and both of the openings for them, I absolutely love them, the endings, all that. Bochi the Rock also might be one of my favorite enemies of all time right now, and like, like I said, k -On 2 is like kind of well, y'all have heard this on the channel, at least not in this video, but uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. It's actually what's gotten me even deeper into anime and helped me in a lot of times where I was like, damn, I don't, you know, I don't feel inspired. And that shit hit for me. But basically, that's all just to say, I do love both of these. One, of course, is a little more nostalgic and the other one is more recent. So I already know either way this turns out, I'm going to get like, I don't know, people are going to be arguing with yourselves in the comments uh, or me saying I'm a bias. I don't know, bro. I don't know why I'm making this. Uh, I just want to bring back the Battle of the Anime opening series. This is the only thing I could think to do it with so without further ado probably the worst decision of my life let's compare these two openings i genuinely don't know which one i'm gonna choose but uh about to find out go crazy this is literally top 10 moments before disaster not gonna cap but uh this series i let it die and it's time to bring it back and it's time to bring it back with a banger so you know what i'm saying live life to the fullest y'all go crazy i'm about to cause an uproar head ass I love the intro to this like so much, bro. We're just zooms in on the world. It's like me and my little hole, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna become something big one day. The lyrics are also another thing that hits very hard for me with this. I love how it matches every single image on the screen. It's really perfect. Like, Bochi just peak. I'm gonna incorporate how much I feel like they fit the vibe of the shows, but I feel like they both have incorporated pretty well, pretty perfectly. So that won't make much of a difference to be honest. Oh my god, and the way the characters come on the screen showing all their personalities, their instruments, like, bro, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. Every character being introduced, like, she, John, in this big world of everything going on, bro, th this opening is fucking god tier. I can't, bro. Oh my god. Kida's go to Rio, Niji cut. It's just, it's just so perfect, bro. Oh my god. I think the lyrics are the number one thing that sends this home for me. Like, if you see it on the screen, oh my god, it's so good. I love this part that Kita does right here, like, Emoshi wo like, oh my god, this shit's peak. It's peak. I don't know what else to say. I don't, I don't know why I always make these so difficult. I should bring down the difficulty quite a bit. So maybe some 8 out of 8 song, 8 out of 10 songs I'm going to say, like, compared to each other and shit like that. I'm sitting here comparing literally the biggest bangers of all time next to each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I don't know why I do this to myself, but... Anyways, like, like I said, these are both already, we know, 10 out of 10. I don't know how I'm going to compare these, but I'm going to figure it out. But next is the Keon opening, and this, oh my god, this is like genuinely, if you've seen my top 100 anime openings and endings list, which this is still possibly going to change by the time I make this, I hope not, and it'll be my final decision, we'll see, because I'm going to give it even more time after that. But uh, yeah, I had Keon literally at number 11, that's out of openings and endings. If you take all the endings out, it's literally my top 10 openings of all time, because how much I love this shit. But yeah, um, I'm going to see how it's still hitting right now. Uh, it, it just peak, it's peak, oh my god, it's just crazy. Like, the vibes for both are just immaculate. It's showing all the personalities of the characters, bro. Like, no, no, no. I love that shit she does right there. The gang, bro. Oh, my God. The little character introductions here. I don't know how. Like, it's so basic, but it keeps me so entertained, bro. I'm just feeling it. Keon has always just been wholesome vibes nonstop, though. So, we are witnessing peak fiction, ladies and gentlemen. Shonen is cool. That's why I cover my channel. But, uh, don't count out the ghosts, bro. Please. Uh, the jump weight. Oh my god, bro. The little finger thing Mio does with the guitar. Oh my god, that shit, like. No, no, no. Hey. The camera p angle, like the. Oh my god. Oh my god. This shit peak. This shit peak. It's too peak. Here we go. Hey. Oh no. Nah. Oh no. Nah. Holy shit, what have I gotten myself into? This is literally a hell's arena. I don't, like, this is this is a death sentence right here. But, um, I actually think I have my choice right now. They both are probably, like, easily top openings of all time for me. They're just both beyond perfect. But I have to choose, I'm not even gonna drag this out and keep comparing them down to every detail. I think that Kaon opening is low-key slightly better to me. It's like, it's just more of a... The Boshi opening, there's literally nothing wrong with it, but like, I, me for openings personally, what I like a lot is like the, uh, you know what I'm saying, just the gang together and seeing the friendship and like that. What it, the aura it emanates, if that's, if that's even the right phrase for it, I don't know how to describe it, like, uh, 
just the synergy of the characters like damn and i feel like that's there very strongly in bochi but uh it's more of since it's new you know what i'm saying well not even new they both that was their first ever opening but like bochi i feel like they introduced even more characters kaon doesn't do that but uh bochi while that's not a flaw in the slightest i do feel like in preference it's like uh we're seeing a bunch of cool characters they introduced the cool ways you know what i'm saying the drunk lady with her hands like this i forgot her name i don't know how i forgot her name you know what i'm saying nijika's sister big sister the uh Sundari waifu all that shit like all of them popping up in clean ways but like kaon opening is focused on nothing but the four main characters except for like maybe for like a couple seconds at one point all of them like the little you know what i'm saying that here we go and shit like that jumping off of fucking staircases together and shit like that and it's it just i don't know everything about it just so peak like i definitely think boshi is extremely close uh in terms of being compared to it and i also think that uh the anime itself is a little bit better not because kaon is bad in any way literally is a 10 out of 10 to me as well i know it's not like i'm just slurping these are generally my favorite animes but uh yeah it's more of just i feel like it's a modernized kaon it's not like literally copy in any way but it's more of like it's up to date with the times and that helps it a lot so it, it's it's fine they're both peak but yeah i'd say in terms of openings though i didn't have to give it to kaon that shit is like, oh my god, they're both masterpieces, but yeah, if I have to choose, that one, it just hits, it hits. It's like the little, you know what I'm saying, the gimmicks in there, and like, even to the point that literally you have to acknowledge, all my Bochi fans out there, you know, most people probably like both shit anyways, you know what I'm saying, common sense, uh, two goats can coexist, but uh, even Bochi themselves, in what was it, like episode three, four, five, I don't know, something like that, she said, the way we make a god tier photo, what they do in that one opening, they like jumped into the sky or some shit. That was literally a Keon reference, bro. Peak fiction. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, um, I'm in this here. I know I'm probably getting hella hate in the comments. It would be like that. I'd appreciate all my real ones. If you slam the like button, I will do more. Um, just let me know down in the comments whatever you, else you'd like me to compare for another about the anime openings. I'll definitely check that out. And next one I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do more that I haven't seen. Because I do mix it up for this series between things either two that I have seen, so there's no bias. Well, that might be slight bias, but a little bias with those. Or no bias from two that I have not seen. Never like one of each, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think the next one will be two openings I have not seen. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. And hopefully, if you ever want to check out, I do do a lot of anime on Patreon. You can check that out. Support, link in the description and the pinned comment. I am looking to get an editor. I know this is titled Season 1. I want to do a Season 2 where it's like very well edited. And for that, you know what I'm saying? The Patreon does support. So get me closer to supporting an editor to support me as I be. But yeah, um, this is all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm very flustered. These openings are peak. But yeah, I'm in this here. Stop stalling. Uh, I love y'all, man. For real. Comment down below whichever one you prefer. They're both godly at the end of the day. It'd be like that. You know what I'm saying? All pins accepted here. But yeah, as always, make sure you take it easy. Go crazy in peace. Bye.